going on everybody man it's a beautiful texas morning i'm oscar you're watching oscar outdoors man today we're at my uh, little garden man me kenneth brandon and uh, eli put this up a while back man let me show you around real quick got some onions in there green beans some green beans in there kale more green beans got a bunch of tomatoes yeah they get ripe quick see that I just watered them right now too but they are good I got a bunch of them in there there's another one see we got a fresh one in here somewhere here we go look at this big old guy <laughs> yeah got a cucumber right there and a cucumber right here there's some baby ones right there. Some little baby ones in there. Those are baby cucumbers. They still got the flowers on the end. Well, what do you say, everybody? Take it fishing? Let's go check it out. Hey, so we are over here at Condor Park. Just a little bitty pond, man. Like a little neighborhood pond. Uh, we're gonna catch some. We're gonna try to catch some bullhead catfish. There, you don't catch them too much. I, at least I don't. But um, it's kind of dedicated to uh, my buddy Anthony Atman on YouTube. You guys got to go check him out. I'll leave the link to his channel down below. Hey man, I appreciate your support, brother. So I'm gonna try to catch you some bullheads, man. Since, hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's just a little bitty neighborhood pond. Probably ain't even a quarter acre. I know that's gotta be the deep side over here. Let's throw a night crawler on this little pole and see what's up, man. See if we can't catch one of these little elusive bullheads. Check it out. So I got some red worms. Not the night crawlers. These are a little bit more lively. Well, I think tougher and a little bit more lively. They stay on the hook a little bit better. And they're a little bit smaller. So they can fit in these uh mouths of these little fish that we're trying to catch so we're gonna hook this guy on we're just gonna thread him on so he stays on there just like that and see if we can not hook up something all right ant-man let's do it dude let's see if we can't get one bullhead bullhead right in the middle oh Oh, look at that first cast man it was just sitting in there i didn't even feel a bite and sure enough a little bitty bullhead look at that guy man he's cool it's colorful a little worm moving around in his mouth real pretty fish man they look like big full-grown catfish they're just miniature and super sharp come on eat that hook good there you go can I lip him? I got him. All right, back in the water, little guy. All right, Let's see if we can't get another one. The biggest bullhead I've ever caught was about 14 inches. And I've heard that they don't really get any bigger than that, man, but I don't know. I thought it was a pretty big bullhead and I've always caught them real tiny like that or a little bit bigger. So that 14 inch one, it was like something like this. Oh, oh, little bite, boop. Got one. All right, little bullheads, man. Look at that. I knew they were here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Not a problem, man. They're cool fish. He's rubbing his fin against his gill plate and making a little bark sound, a little croaking sound. See that? Let's get him in. Oh, got a little bite. Oh, oh, got him. All right. They're all about the same size here, aren't they? One's a little more pale. <laughs> 
They got a big little mouth. They got a little mouth, but it's big for their size. All right, little guy. Fish by his little stick right here. It's going between them. Nice. Think he's got it in his mouth. Pop. Yep. <laughs> Swimming with it. Damn, this place is full of these little bullheads, man. Look at this. It's all translucent, kind of. Get in the water, man. Yeah, guys, so I also want to give a shout out to uh, Angling Spiders. I'll leave their link in the description below. And Fishing for Trophies, man. Those are my guys right there, man. They always leave comments and watch my videos and stuff as I do them. I don't always leave a comment, but I always watch their videos. And don't forget to check out uh, Anthony Antman on YouTube. I'll leave all three of their links in the video description below. And I'm not having any luck on this side of this island for some reason. There it is. Whoa. Slingshot that guy all the way. Okay. Got all kinds of cool colors on them. Oh, in the water. So you can't catch a couple more and step it out. There you go. Playing little guy. I sure do appreciate it. Little bullheads. Back in the water. All right, everybody, let's go check out another spot. A little night crawler. Let's try to cast it out there and catch one of these fish. A turtle out there and all kinds of stuff. Oh man, oh, damn, right when it hit the water. Look at that. I'll tell you man, those green sunfish are the best. There you go. Oh, all right. Not a bass, but it's a fish. Green sunny. Big, get him back in that that water. <laughs> These little greens, man, they tear it up. I'm trying to catch that bass, man, but you guys are too ferocious. Let's get him in the water. What's going on, y'all? Doing all right? Trying to catch some fish. Right over where? Right over here? Yeah, just you get down that thing back there. There's a section there. I used to go there when I was here. Man, I think this is a good time fish down there. I thought that bad shit I thought that long ago. That a fact. I'm gonna have to go check it out, brother. I appreciate that advice, man. Be careful with the snakes. Yes, ma'am. I I'm actually a friend of them snakes. Alright, thank y'all. I will, yes ma'am. All right. That gentleman over there told me that there's a hole over here, which I kind of know already, but let's let's go check it out. I haven't been here in a while. Might have to walk over there and check it. This grass got high. Let's see if we can uh, get in there somehow. Again. Ah, that's why I love those fish. When no one else wants to play, man, these will. Thank you for playing. Oh, get in the water. Damn. I don't think he's going to get in the water from there. Where are you, fish? There you are. 
Uh, I'm sorry. In the water. Where you belong. I'm not gonna leave you there. Let's see how I can get back out of this though. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna fish from there no more. Step it out. Little bitty green. Nope, that's a just a regular little bitty long ear sunfish. Still cool. There you go. What we got? A little long ear. A little long ear sunfish. Oh, back in the water. Dang. These little greens, man. They don't mess around. They don't even let it sink. They just wait for them bugs to fall out of the trees and right into their mouths. Oh, oh, all right. That's a better one. What you got, what you got? Yeah, it's a big green. Come on, there you go. That's a nice big green there. <laughs> Got the electric blue on his face right here. All right, guy, thank you for that fight. Oh. Well, if I want to catch bait, I don't know where to come. Pull them out of the sticks. What's up, man? Thank you for fighting. Bunch of sunfish in here. It's loaded. Ow. Good bait, man. Got another one. Woo! It hit too quick. Yeah. It's the kind of problem you want to have. Every cast, man, look at that. All right, man, so I switched out that worm for a little bit and I put on this little sassy shad right here. I should single out or eliminate some of the long ear sunfish. Oh, something had that one in his mouth. Oh. Oh, had another one. Spit it out. Come on, throw away down there. All right, a couple more casts. We're gonna step it out, man. Oh, got one. Oh, and it get all big old green sunfish. I see him right there in the water. Gotcha. 
and far away. Green sunfish in the dark. Oh, got one. All right, stay on. Good thing he's small enough I can pull him up. Oh, gotcha. All right. So the bass. Let's get him in the light so we can see him. All right, guy. A little sassy shad did the trick. There you go. Nice little bass. Let's get him back in that water. the top. Kerplunk. All right. 